going to read Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22, and states, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. So clearly here God says that it's, you know, it's abomination, you know, for, um, you know, same-sex uh, sexual relationships. Um, we'll go over to Romans 1 where the Apostle Paul, he explicitly deals with it. There's a few things I'm going to touch on what he says. And we know this is the word of God. It's not, you know, Paul alone, you know. They wrote as, the writers wrote as the Holy Spirit led them. But the writers, you know, they may get credit for, you know, what they wrote. But this is the word of God. Um, starting in verse 16 of Romans chapter 1, the Apostle Paul writes, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness, to uncleanness, through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, covetousness, excuse me, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implicable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. A few things I want to point out in these passages of verses. Um, I want to touch a little on how, um, you know, the enemy has a lie of um, how he twists, like, God's grace and mercy and, you know, like, God loves everybody and things like that. First of all, you know, God's love is, is you know, just like any characteristic of him, you can't fully fathom it. Yes, he is full of grace, and he is just to forgive you and cleanse you of um, all in righteousness, um, 1 John 1, 9, when we confess our sins. But the enemy does have a false grace of God, like where we can just live however we want. You know, I've touched on that before in another video, uh, the antinomianism doctrine. Um, look, here God says, you know, he'll give you up to a reprobate mind. And that's because, you know, that's what you want to do. Um, you know, if you want to live in sin, um, you know, makes sin okay because we can't serve two masters. So people who live in sin, you know, they're they're of sin. And just like John said, you know, he who does righteous, you know, is righteous. Um, so you have to understand, you know, God will give you up to a reprobate mind. Um, even Paul, I forgot who it was, but, um, you know, he delivered someone to Satan, you know, a professed Christian because they, you know, went out doing those things. Um so, you know, we have to have the real definition of salvation, grace, and, and, and love. 
you know, that comes from God. You know, Paul wrote um, also in Romans, you know, now that we're saved, should we continue in sin so that grace may abound? And God forbid, you know, those same things that we were doing, which, you know, leads to hell, as sin being the wages of death. You know, we're new creatures now. We're not going to live that same life, you know. Um, a lot of people point out, you know, there's no condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. But the, um, there's another half of that verse that says those who um, not walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. You know, if you're willingly living in sin, you know, that's not following the spirit. You know, so to not be um, in condemnation, you know, you got to be following the spirit. You know, those who serve the flesh, you know, they're condemning themselves. You know, and again, it's not that we don't blow it. It's, um, please understand that the whole message is people willingly living in that in, in sin and they don't want to hear the truth. They hate it. They call evil good and good evil. Um, so definitely keep that in mind as I read this next set of verses, also written by Paul, and I'm going to read from the New King James translation, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 6, I'm going to read 9 through 11, and written here it says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves. Nor, covet, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor exhortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So here's a, you know, again, these sins, they're not that they're any worse like than any other sin. All sin is the wages of death. You know, there is no little sin to God. Some have natural, in the natural, have worse, more worse consequences, such as, um, you know, a murder in the natural would be worse than a lie, you know, because then, you know, you kill somebody, that person is gone. But, um, you know, all sin is the same to God other than blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. And, you know, they can be forgiven um, just as we are to forgive others because Christ forgave us. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. But, um, you know, in these verses, you know, the Apostle Paul, you know, he writes these, you know, these um, these unrighteous lifestyles. And, you know, keeping in mind that this is people who, who enjoy these things and they, they love it. You know, they're not trying to get delivered. This is their identity, not something they struggle with. Um, you know, it doesn't lead to heaven. They, they won't inherit the kingdom of God. You know, we we are to overcome with Christ in us because he overcame these things. And then some people, you know, they they try to say, like, um, you know, they're just washed by Christ. You know, now they're forgiven and, you know, we're not perfect so we can live these lives. But what they're not seeing in verse um, 11 is, you know, yes, these people came to Christ and such were some of them, as Paul said, you know, these things that are listed. But that's the that's the whole point. Such were some of you. You know, Paul didn't say, and such are some of you now, but you're still saved. You know, you're still a fornicator, but you came to Christ, so you're saved. No, you you either put that away, and you can and will put that away with, with Christ. And, you you know, the deliverance may take time, and, you know, sometimes, we, you know, we backslide, and, you know, and we blow it and things. But, you know, sin should be our enemy. You know, we are in war with sin, not, you know, in allegiance with it. But people who accept it, you know, it's their friend. And, you know, when you serve sin, you're a slave of sin. And when you serve God, you know, you're, you're God's servant. So, you know, as Joshua said, you know, choose the day who you're going to serve. So there's a lot of other verses that um, touch on homosexuality. Um, um, you know, I've given a few um you know, the major thing is, you know, if you knew the spirit as behind it, you know, spirit of um, homosexuality, lesbianism, you know, it's it's nothing from God. It's nothing cute, you know. Um, you know, it can be cast out in the name of Jesus, you know, be delivered from it. And, you know, I know there's people who have tried, you know, Jesus, you know, they didn't want to be that way, but they, you know, they gave into it eventually. But, you know, you have to keep going to Christ, you know, it's a test of patience and, 
and faith and you know you can't do it on your own just like any other sin things that we need to overcome is not of your own strength and you know the, the apostate church you know they're just teaching things like you know an excuse where it's just not true you know where god loves everybody and you know he made you that way you know these are you know satan's lies you know to like blame god you know so when we you know we do those things like you know a man living as a woman and a woman living as a man you're saying that god made a mistake on you and you know from the beginning of human creation when god was creating man you know satan's goal was always to destroy the image that you know god made man in his own image and you know homosexuality does that and um you know stops uh you know um reproduce reproduction you know cuz the same sex can't have a, you know a child and that's why it's called unnatural and and um uh, you know you'll never find any support in the bible of a uh, you know god allowing this you know it's always man and woman even in um Timothy speaking of uh the you know the qualifications of being a bishop you know um what's written is that um uh, you know, he must be, you know, the the man of uh, the husband of one wife, you know, and a wife can only be a female and a husband can only be a male. So, you know, all that, you know, two husbands and two wives things, you know, it's, it's not of God. So, so just please understand this was not a message of condemnation. It's a message of deliverance and truth. You know, the word cuts um, sharper than any two-edged sword. So, you know, we have this flesh in the flesh. We must understand that not one good thing comes out of the flesh. So it can it can hurt. You know, we have to deal with it. You know, we're proof and correction and things. And things we don't want to hear. But we can't have the itching ears and be of God. Because then we're only going to take out of the Bible what we want to hear. And, you know, run to those preachers as, as it's written. And people do that. We need to, you know, there are things we do want to hear and, you know, just bless us, you know, the heaven and deliverance and things. You know, some of those things are, are biblical, but, you know, people who just stay on that and they don't want to teach about the wrath of God and hell, there's times to teach that at times, and that's not what people want to hear. But it needs to be the fact of, you know, um, hearing what we need to hear, you know, and, and, and knowing what we need to hear, which is the word. There will be things we don't want to hear and things that don't settle too well, but we're going to appreciate it. You know, God's told us right from wrong, and he told us harsh things like, you know, hell and Satan and how he operates because he loves us, and we need to be educated so we perish for lack of knowledge, you know. So, like, when I speak on things about, you know, that we love, you know, the weed and, you know, sexual immorality and hip-hop and things, it may not settle well because we love these things, but... You know, we got to tell the truth because we're destroyed for a lack of knowledge, you know, the origins of things and the spiritual destruction that it does, you know, even profanity in itself. Some people are just like, it's no big deal, it's just a word, but they don't know that life and death is in the power of the tongue, things like that. Like, God isn't a legalistic guy, and, you know, we should believe him just for what he says, like, you know, don't do it if he says don't do it, but he even, in most cases, gives the reason why. Just like he told Adam and Eve not to eat of the, of the fruit, the forbidden fruit, or they would die. Now, of course, they didn't really understand death, but, you know, God had a reason for that, you know. It wasn't just for, well, I mean, just because I say so. And again, even if it was, you know, we should, okay, you, you say so, God, you know, whether there's no consequence or not. But every time there, he says no, there is a consequence. He's only protecting you, so... This is why he, you know, he is not for homosexuality. Please understand that Satan is always going to oppose, you know. In most cases, God has one way to do things, and Satan's going to teach every other route. You know, it's one way to God, who is Jesus, so Satan's going to say any other thing. There is no God. There are other ways. Jesus is only one way, and, you know, this is the real God and all these things. So, you know, God only made it one way with men and women, so Satan's going to say you know, man, women, animal, be with who you want to be with. You can't help it. God loves everybody. We should love everybody and things like that. He twists the word. So I pray that um, people receive the truth. You know, a lot of people, they may, they're not comfortable talking on it, especially in this apostate era. And churches won't talk on it because it runs people out, but, you know, and the government, all those things. But 
you know, got to speak up for God, you know, as Paul said, not ashamed to spread the gospel. So grace and peace to you all. Love and God bless you.